See that guy? That guy right there? No. That is not world famous actor Hayden Christensen. That is a toy made by Hot Toy Collectibles. For those of you who don't know, Hot Toys Collectibles is a Hong Kong based production house for designing, developing, and manufacturing highly detailed collectible merchandise. Released in 2022 by Hot Toys, the Anakin Skywalker figure is inspired by his appearance in the animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars. The series chronicles the heroic exploits of Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Ahsoka Tano during the three-year span between the live-action films Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. While this figure is based on Anakin's appearance in the animated series, he does look a lot like the version of him we got from Hot Toys' Star Wars Episode 3. However, this figure merges Hot Toys' signature ultra-detail style with the Clone Wars animated design, and I love these kind of more experimental figures. The box has a high-definition image of Anakin Skywalker on the cover writing on the staff vehicle. There is a separate band along the bottom with additional graphics. The box height is 7 inches, the width is 12 and a half inches, and the depth is 20 inches. Shipping weight is 7.66 pounds, or 3.5 kilograms. Opening up the box, we are greeted with another high-definition image of the Anakin figure right in the staff vehicle in a dynamic pose. Under that insert, the box has a pretty standard plastic tray, but this one has the Star Wars logo molded in it. It's the first time I have seen that from Hot Toys. The figure features a hand-painted head with a highly accurate sculpt, detailed skin texture, and a new facial expression with the scar. The body has over 30 points of articulation and comes with a tailored fabric costume to bring the Anakin we know to life. Anakin also has sculpted armor and cape from the 2003 Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars animated series, which makes him look so much more Darth Vader-like. Accessories include his lightsaber with a light-up feature, a thermal detonator, a hologram projector, and several hologram figures representing key figures in his life like his apprentice Ahsoka Tano, his former master Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course wise master Yoda. This edition also includes a special single trooper aerial platform with him. While I don't imagine Anakin riding on a stap very much, this is an impressive vehicle. The stap is approximately 12 inches in height, has a phenomenal paint job with applied weathering details, and the drive turbines include light-up functions. Every detail like the articulated grips, the foot pedals, and the steering vane is faithfully reproduced. We have seen some pretty impressive 1 6 scale vehicle prototypes, like some Jedi Starfighters from Hot Toys. I would love to see some more vehicles like those, and these Clone Wars vehicles are a perfect example of why. Sadly, you know the Bark Speeder and the Walkers will be just as much as a Hot Toys figure with them coming in at maybe $200 to $300 per vehicle. In any case, army building collectors will have some pretty sweet additions to add to their growing armies. The credited artists include JC Hong for the head, paint, and head art direction. Artist La Ko is credited for the paint. The pair are responsible for such Hot Toy figures as the Tusken Raider, the Han Solo Mud Trooper, and the Boba Fett Anniversary Edition. Artist So Yun Jang is credited for the head sculpt. So Yun Jang also worked on Captain Rex. For years, the fandom for Anakin Skywalker has grown. Whether you came to love him in the Clone Wars or the live-action prequels, both portrayals brought nuance to the character and showed us the struggle that he faced in his journey to the dark side. Did you pick up this Anakin figure? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Oh.